Hey, this is Mass X with a new One Punch Man, the strongest video. And yes, we had our hint drop for the next backup stick, which will be coming at us next week. And it is pretty obvious by the hint what we are getting. No other than SSR Amai. Yes, he is coming at you. And this is an interesting one for the backup stick. I didn't expect this actually. I really thought we would see Phoenix Man coming up in there for a multitude of reasons that we don't have to get into anymore because now we know who we have. But is this a character that you care about? Let's talk about that here for a second, okay? Amai is a grappler, hero, same row acceleration, massive tenacity, consecutive follow-up. His basic skill, Justice Cut, that does, it attacks a single target and deals damage by 130% of attack, reduces current max HP of the target by 30% for two rounds. HP overflow will be immediately reduced. Now, for his ultimate, restores HP of all allies by 100% of attack and increases speed of allies in the same row to 90% of Amaya Mask's speed. Only when ally speed is lower than expected. Okay. The passive. Grants tenacity to all allies when battle begins. Pretty cool. Grants 15% ult damage free, up to three layers, to himself when his speed is higher than any enemy. After action launches, consecutive follow-up, against enemy with the highest max HP. The effect of the basic attack damage by 80% of a basic attack, chance is 70% up to three times. So he's an interesting character. So let's talk about him a bit more detail. Well, honestly, this character is really, as you could probably guess, gonna be mainly a PvP unit only, okay? So if you're focusing on PvE and not PvP, you don't care about this character at all, okay? Now, let's talk about him a little bit more and what he can do. The key and why he is good in PvP, of course, is the speed that he grants, as well as that passive that tenacity to all allies, okay? Those two major factors are big and big in PvP. So you could concentrate on characters that you put in the same row with him on other stats that might be more important than wasting it on speed. Big plus there, okay? So your true DPS characters, you could go all in with the crit and damage rate, etc. Because that speed boost is coming at you. Needless to say, Amai really needs to kick into full gear right out of the gate. So obviously with him, speed is the most important stat for Amai. You need him to go as quick as possible first in your chain, end the story. The secondary stat that's gonna be important with him is gonna be attack, okay? Because that's gonna help with those heals that you're getting because it's based off his attack. So, pretty easy to gear this character. And of course, without a doubt, I mean, Monk. And, our newest equips, which I haven't even done a video on, but Flash is one of those three new equips, and that not only increases lifesteal rate by 10%, but speed by 10%. So either one of those two, Flash when available, but Monk of course, or of course a broken set with him is completely fine, so you can maximize speed. So in the end, yeah, 
it's not going to make a difference. Speed is your sole focus with him. With your buff gears, okay, you're going to really be looking at two different routes. One, you can either go attack route to help those heals and the damage that he can do. Or you can go HP, of course, if you want more survival survivability with him if you want to make him able to tank longer and stay alive to continue giving your team those heals then of course you're going to want to go the hp route so for a hero it's going to be attacker hp the sub stat what's going to be really key with him is to try to get your hands on a speed sub stat times three then you're set Ugh. If you have a full gear set with speed on it and that, you're going to be in really good shape. For the grappler buff, you're going to want to go, again, attack or HP. And it's really going to make a difference on you know what you go with. Um, and of course, for his third buff gear, the S-Class, same thing. Attack or HP. Substats for the grappler and S-Class, really attack or HP based on what you go with um, of course if you get something um, like a bonus damage on your S class that would be wonderful but not necessary if you get some resistance or block if you're doing an HP build for your grappler that's going to be awesome too but again this is all coming down to how you want to build him and there's no right or wrong way it's just going to be a decision you make maybe you don't think your team's strong enough so you really buff, buff him up with the hp so he stays alive longer and you can get some heals and, and you know take advantage of that and maybe win because you're going to have constant healing if he stays alive so again he's a really interesting character and i don't think we've really seen anything quite like this character come into the game so it will change things up but really just for pvp so you know i look at him like i look at watchdog man but same but different what i mean by that is those types of utility characters they can do so much and benefit your team so well and that's what Amai does, this SSR. Really just nice. I mean, think of him like, God, what's his name? Why am I drawing a blank? Moomin Rider, okay? But on like steroids, like jacked up. That That's what you're gonna get because you're getting that full row and not a single character. So it really allows you to take advantage of that if you can get him to go first so you can really focus like i talked about before on gearing your true dps characters substantially different to totally take advantage of the offense ability that they have for you so again he's not a necessary unit okay so let's make that clear so he is probably a decent character to have in a backup stick so you know the cost is low for him if you want to use some type of utility character such as him so you know again do i look at downsides with him well to me there's so many good characters that are, are dropping we have rmg we just got genos and there's so many more that are gonna keep coming that you know are you going to want to put that investment into him when he isn't a necessary unit he's like i said he's a toolbox character utility first so you might find him on the sidelines sooner than later mattering on where your team dynamic is going to go now probably the biggest drawback to him of course is if he dies you lose that speed boost so he's gone and you've re-geared your characters and now you're stuck so that is a big con to think about and one of probably the better reasons to tank that character up so he is hopefully going to survive for you besides that the only other major thing i have a 
problem with with this character is he's a grappler and we have so many gosh darn grapplers at this point so there's only so many grapplers you're going to be able to use so if you look at your team and go i'm not going to let go of this guy i'm not going to let go of this guy i'm not going to go let go of this guy then you may realize what's the point of getting them because i'm not going to be using him so that is something to really keep in mind because evaluate what you have at your disposal and what you're using and do you have a grappler spot to use this character in so all in all to me in the end if you're free to play he's a hard skip i mean first off if you're free to play it's a backup stick you're not going to pay the 10 bucks don't worry about it not a big deal not going to change your life if you're getting rmg then put it all in on that character if you're a dolphin well to me it's it's a flip of the coin it just matters if you have the resources and you think it's going to benefit your team then by all means it's a backup stick probably the best deal in the game so why not and if a whale like usual you're not going to give a rat's ass so they're probably not even watching the video so that's it so I, de I definitely think it's it's a nice backup stick because it's one of those characters not like getting Giro Giro that you really need to get it's going to be very helpful for you so and it's going to let people breathe especially the free to play players to know that they don't have to try to find a way to get this backup stick so with that it's some breathing room and that's kind of what my hope is for july that our july lssr will be a character that is not a necessity to let people regroup from getting slammed with genos from getting hit now with rmg and then let everybody breathe okay so we'll have a backup stick stick that gives breathing room and hopefully we'll have an lssr that gives a little breathing room and then we circle back around in August and September for probably an onslaught of some crazy characters. So let me know if you're gonna go after this character in the backup stick or you're happy that this is gonna be completely chill for you. With that as always, please like and subscribe. It helps so much, take care.